Hey, how you guys doing? Well, today I've decided I'm going to go ahead and do a little cooking. And what we're going to do is, see i got a couple of pans here. Got the good old dirty cast iron and uh, throwing a few tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil just to get her working. And we're going to drop in one whole large chopped onion. I cut it pretty big just because. Um, well, as you can see, these onions are going to take a grip here to cook. Because one, you can't, you don't want to blow them up over real high heat. We're going to put them over medium, medium high heat. And the reason is because we don't want to brown the onions just yet. We kind of want them to uh, steep and sweat. All right, so now we got we got this old uh, cast iron skillet here. I had to go grab her. my little dude. She's getting pretty well heated up, a little extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to drop in this uh, fresh garlic and let it start to simmer up real quick. you got to be careful with it. You don't want to burn it. Alright, get this cutting board out of the way. Now, what we're going to do is just kind of brown this up real quick. Keep it moving so it don't burn. And we're going to drop in, what I have here is a pound of ground sausage, ooh, yummy, and two pounds of ground hamburger. You're probably asking me, Josh, why didn't you uh, put the meat in the bigger skillet? I'm kind of asking myself that right now. But it'll all work out. Alright, so here's where we're at. After about ten minutes, we got some nice brown hamburger and sausage with the garlic in there and we've got the uh, onions well sweated look real good nice and caramelized I'm loving that all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our hamburger and grab my pot holder here and we're going to add it to the onions with the sausage all that goodness let this thing really work for a few. And let's see. We're going to add in about a teaspoon of pepper. Ground pepper, mind you. About a good tablespoon of salt. Because this is going to be a large amount of sauce involved. Alright, now we're going to start the whole sauce process of this. We're getting everything together that we're going to use to uh, meld the flavors of this sloppy joe. Now, one of the first things that I like to put in is my paprika. Now, the paprika is no known measurement here. I do the, the palm full, which is probably pretty close to a good tablespoon. A half of a teaspoon of thyme. Now, what I like to use is ground thyme. The reason I use ground thyme is because um, it kind of, I guess you could say, it lets the flavor get more involved. So there's my half teaspoon of ground thyme. I'm going to use one whole teaspoon. No, this is going to add some heat. Of red pepper flakes. A teaspoon of chili powder. Two teaspoons of good old fashioned garlic salt. Now you were probably wondering why I didn't add that much salt to something so big. This is why, the garlic salt. Now let's start uh, delving into the actual sauce part of it. Now, I do this based on how much it appears to be here. Now what I have is red wine vinegar. Uh, about a half a cup of red wine vinegar, I'd say. And I do this for a quarter cup of olive oil. And then we get into, now we've got our twang, let's get into our sweet notes. We're going to do a cup and a half of ketchup. Two round two cups. Now you'll notice you'll need to adjust the amount of ketchup based on how moist or how dry you like yours. I like mine pretty wet. 
Okay. Hot sauce. Your flavor you choose. However, whatever kind of hot sauce you like. I like this. It's a Louisiana fiery hot sauce. Bayou heat, basically. Now, this is again is according to taste. Now my flavor is, is I like this is like a wing sauce. You know. About two tablespoons of mustard here. A little more fresh pepper. And that's pretty much it right there. What you're gonna do is now mix all this and get all these flavors together. I'll come back with the last big secret ingredient, which I'm sure you can already figure out what it is. Alright, well here's where we're at. We've had about two minutes of good mixing, and I did end up adding a little bit more ketchup just because it wasn't enough sauce. And um, I tasted it, and I've noticed that it's probably a little shy on time, so I'm going to add a little bit more time. And if you were to taste your sauce right now at this point, you would say, ooh, man, what is that? It's very salty. Yeah, it seems salty, but it's not. It's, it's got a lot of tang from the vinegar and the mustard and the hot sauce. And so here comes the best part. We have one full cup of, of uh, brown sugar. This brown sugar is totally going to change the taste. There goes my camera again. The brown sugar is totally going to change the taste. You'll find. And it's going to um, sauce it up quite a bit, too. It adds this dark tone from the molasses. And once it all cooks in and becomes part of the sauce. Right. Now, see how saucy it is now? See how much more juice there is in there? And that's from the sugar melting. But here's the biggest secret. You are not done yet. You need to really let those caramels, the sugars caramelize. So you're going to leave this and just kind of work with it. Let it simmer for a while. Keep it moving. Do not let it burn. And keep your heat pretty medium. I'll show you what it looks like after it caramelizes. But this is what she looks like right now. I know you guys don't have the best picture from sitting on the tripod. That's what it looks like right now. Alright, well that's the final product. Now, the only thing I can tell you is that you know it's going to be good because you don't get this chubby by not eating good. Come on. Alright, there they are, the sloppy old, greasy, yummy, messy ass sloppy joes. They're going to be good. Well, I'm going to slap some cheese on this and uh, some pepper jack cheese. Mm. And I'm going to grub down, so hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, as Pug would say, remember, if you ate today, thank a farmer.